Dolphin, thank you. Remain outside control air space, there will be a delay for the ILS to uh, proceed to the slot traffic heavy. Dolphin, Irma Yankee, Roger, remain outside. 325, connect 1004, easy 76 Tango Charlie. Easy 76 Tango Charlie, 14. Hey, Ray 110. IFR, or IFR? IFR, Dolphin, Irma Yankee. So we're going to get flat one soon. Because we're obviously using base length and flexibility. 400. Approaching minima. I put full flaps in. Well below glide path. South End, Radar, Golf, Sulu, Alpha, November, Yankee, Traffic Service, Radio Check. Golf, Sulu, Alpha, November, Yankee, South End, Radar, pass to your message. Golf, Sulu, Alpha, November, Yankees are heading 0, 09, 0 degrees. Uh, we are at DA 42, aboard to yourself. Cresting Radar Vector, Silas Approach. Golf, Sulu, Alpha, Yankee, Roger, for your altitude and flight rules. 1,700, IFR, climbing to 2,200, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Yankee, school 4575, identified traffic service. 4575, traffic service, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Yankee, which remain outside control airspace, there will be a delay for the ILS to uh, proceed to the slot of traffic heavy. Golf November Yankee, Roger, remaining outside. Just check the chart for me. Yeah, fine. You're in your uh, second block of TMA, so you can climb as you wish. So this heading, will it put me into CTA4? Uh, this heading's going to be into CTA4. Uh, just like I said, the director have got several inbounds, it's going to be about 15 minutes away from the ILS. If you still want that, if you want to position down towards the uh, Thames, and then we can uh, give you headings as soon as uh, available. Go off, November Yankee, Roger. Uh, just uh, you want us to remain outside to the south side of the uh, TMA. Okay, so if you remain outside controlled airspace, if you want to position the south, then we can just give you a heading to establish when we can uh, start gap to clear. Go off, November Yankee, Roger. 185? Yep. South end information, Tango, at time 1020, runway in use 05. Definitely should have brought my sunnies. Control 224, the traffic west here two miles, opposite direction is 1,300 feet indicated. Uh, traffic not is looking, not please. Maybe we've got to identify it. My attitude keeping's a lot better. Just my heading's a bit poor. <laughs> <laughs> just keep me outside of CAS, please. Will do. Uh, yeah, just not above 2,200, I don't know. Yeah, it's smoother up here than it will be down. Do you come back into your other TMA? You're free. Head up. Here at 3,000. Better than they forecasted. Oh, God. Bloody hell. It's dramatic. Yeah, you can plug it into your headset or something. Oh, no. I'm doing it on manually because I don't see the point in putting the auto panel because... No, with you, that's what you need to practice is your... That's what practice. you need to practice then. Alright. What heading is this? So I, I would pick up... Yeah, like... Another 10 degrees left. Ready? Yeah, because you'd like... 160, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold that header. So, 160, the heading 054 is the... It's because we're late, they've told us to piss off. I mean, if, if they've got inbounds, though, isn't it? Like... Yeah. Every 15 minutes I do a fuel transfer. And that takes it from the aux... Where is the aux tank? But like, where is the aux tank in the aircraft? So that's the auxiliary tank. That's yeah. the main tank that feeds oh, the engine. Oh, I see. In the wingtips is extra fuel. Oh, wow. So that's what gives you your, your range of 1,100 miles almost. But that's at 50% power. So you go out the airways. You can see what I mean by bumpy, can't you? When it's just, it's not even that gusty it's today. Right but it's, today though. I know, but, but it, it's fine. But it's um, it's because it's got high wing loading like that, you know. You got to be careful, because you just go up into the TMA very easily with the thermals, especially in the summer. Oh god! But I want to get me IR. Yeah, got the Thoric there. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing happening. I doubt it with this wind. Yeah, what winds are they giving us? That fence carbon and staple fitted, which is odd. I think it's just that front going through. Been the there. front to your uh, your west. Instrument flying is really hard, isn't it? 
especially when it's bumpy. Imagine it being in IMC right now. <laughs> they still have to look out for traffic, and then you both can be heads down. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And a goal zero alpha November Yankee, we have information to go QNH1004. Two, two, traffic south here, mile and a half in the orbit, negotiating 2,200 feet, Cessna. Uh, North 42, coming south, just in behind. Northern Bianchi, roger. I think you should have brought my sunnies. I don't think it'd be that sunny, to be honest with the crowd. Sorry, with landing that way, it's fine, it's bright, but... Visibility is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right out to the okay, coast, more or less. Yeah, Manston. There's nothing on frequency, what? They've got directs, haven't they? So what if they, like... Probably. When can we start turning left? Oh, we're turning left now. Right, you can turn, we're over the Thames now, see. Gotta remember, this is controlled airspace there at 1500. Okay, you may not apply controlled airspace, contact south, then direct to 132, that's 1455. 132, 455, Gulf, and then Four five five. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Heavens and I'm going to be descending. Thank you, Charlie. Descending four thousand feet, heading three zero five. That's why. Yeah. That's right. Two. <laughs> ED76, Tango Charlie 7, direct to Good Morning Veteran, nice approach from way 05, QNH1004, <laughs> turn right heading 325. Right heading 325, QNH1004, ED76, Tango Charlie. ED76, Tango Charlie, 14 miles from touchdown, please send to altitude 2000 feet. Send to altitude 2000 feet, ED76, Tango Charlie. South and Ray, uh, South and Director, good afternoon, Golf City, Alpha, the Yankee, heading 150 degrees, 2200 feet. Ready A40 information, Tango. Gospel Alpha November Yankee, South and Director. Hello, Vibet to Zalesh from A05. Turn left heading 110 degrees. Turn left heading 110 degrees, Vibet to Zalesh from A05. Gospel Alpha Yankee. Gospel Alpha November Yankee, South and Director. Hello, EG32, XA Uniform. Turning right, don't make my mistake. Need a turbulence to come down a bit though. 700. Easy 32 X-ray uniform south and direct to Hello there. Fly heading 180 degrees. Heading 180 degrees, 32 X-ray uniform. Easy 32 X-ray uniform, just confirm you level 3000 feet. Uh, we're level 3000 now, easy 32 X-ray uniform. Easy 32 X-ray uniform, oh. thank you. Report that heading now to Thames direct to 133, decimal 455, speak to you later. 33455 heading. It's down, isn't it? Wait, a few miles from them, but yeah. <laughs> Golf November Yankee turn left heading 360 degrees. Left turn 360 degrees, Golf November Yankee. Easy 76 Tango Charlie turn right heading 025, clear dial left 05. Right, 025, clear dial left 05, B76 Tango Charlie. Play right one turn. Yankee, confirm your VFR or IFR? IFR Golf November Yankee. Right step to near November Yankee, confirm VFR or IFR? IFR Golf November Yankee. He's looking at his red in my eyes. Golf November Yankee, descend to altitude 2,000 feet. Descend to altitude 2,000 feet, Golf November Yankee. Leaving altitude. Doesn't want to descend, Wheeler. <laughs> In the yellow. <laughs> Fine, no worries. 2,000 we have. 50% power, I'll reduce to the... So we're going to get flat one soon. Because we're obviously basically effectively. So what happens is we get 108 knots flat one. 50% power. South Golf Echo Charlie Alpha Delta. Can you let me reset tower? Yeah, you can. Uh, Say again, Golf November Yankee. Just be taking you through the localizer space and to get a departure away ahead. That's alright, Golf November Yankee. Golf Echo Charlie Alpha Delta, zero navigation, clear to leave control airspace space on track Els Colm. Oh, navigation, uh, clear to leave on track, hold the curve, 
got the field in sight. That's identified. Leaving altitude. Okay. Okay. Be in. Yeah, control air space radar control. Just continue turning back towards the RS uh, shortly. Go off November Yankee, Roger. We just got a bit of turn, so we're just turning back to 2000. November Yankee, turn right, right turn, heading 150 degrees. Right turn, 150 degrees, right turn. Go off November Yankee. If I put you on left base with 10 check marks. Go off November Yankee, we'll copy. Hard work, Weaver. So 054 identified, DME, ADF, all identified. And 150 for base leg, 2000 feet. QNH 1004, cross check three times. Yep. Uh, so when we get established, it should come up on here, but it hasn't yet. Uh, we follow the glide path all the way down to 255 feet. Yeah. Wait, one turn all the way around. November Yankee, turn left heading 100 degrees, clear dial S05. Left hand 100 degrees, clear dial approach from 105, golf, November Yankee. Shouldn't be looking out the window, should I? No, you shouldn't. It's cheating. It normally gets to that, I sort of turn onto the localizer quite sharply, great one. So once I'm uh, glide path, 20% power, 500 feet per minute all the way down, normally gets you there. And uh, remember, it was it 065 I was the same with the wind correction today? Yeah. So the lock is coming in. Got no glide path for the moment. Still uh, 8 miles out though, aren't we? Glide path starts at 5 miles. Fair enough, at 2000. Yeah. It just normally bounces up and down, but it's alright. It's identified anyway. The lock is starting to come in. It's lower than FS laps, isn't it? Imagine this in IMC Weaver, gusting 25, nice. Can't wait to get my IR. But a priority like the EasyJets. You're not Wait, going through the local level. Oh, it's coming through now. Let's trust it. Yeah. Trust your instruments. So five and a half, two thousand feet. Uh, turning it now. The so 065 should take me all the way down. Yeah, that's got about a mile and a half to go. So they're like, nice thing. So 065, my wing correction angle, that should get me all the way down the glide. Happy with that? Yep. So the go around heading is 054 anyway. So 065 to track the, the wind, sorry. Fine. Caught off your rudder cable. Nothing. Golf 7 Yankee, continue approach, number one, contact tower 127 decimal 730, bye bye. Contact tower 127 decimal 730, bye bye, thank you very much. Across the DME. 5.7. Tower Lake Golf, uh, Zulu Alpha November Yankee. Alice approach from way 05 at 5.5 five miles. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee, South End Tower, good morning. Continue approach, surface wind 120 degrees, 11 knots. Continuing Golf November Yankee. Up about two Hotel Lima, runway 05, okay. clear take off, okay. surface wind 120 degrees, 11 knots. I reckon yeah, that heading to, to, to keep on the glide, to keep on the localizer. Because it's, it's a pretty strong wind coming from that direction, isn't it? 140. Coming, yeah. Charlie 1. So obviously the flaps don't go down until I see the, the visual point. Uh, so we're obviously I'm simulated IMC at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is when that starts getting there, I'm going to reduce to 80 knots, but at the same time 20% power. But call it 30% today because of obviously the power set is a little bit different on this new engine. So here we go. Just coming on the glide. Heading's looking good. Maybe correction to the left. And then 30% power. Call it 25 to see why that does. Keep a good eye on the ice speed. And that should give me 500 feet per minute. It's working out well, slightly. The nose down slightly, and should get 500 feet per minute. Maybe a bit more power. Slightly above, altitude. slightly to the left. Up to Hotel Lima, contact South End Director 132 decimal 455, bye bye. 15 should work actually. Wind's dropping off, isn't it? Yankee, runway 05, clear to land, surface wind 120 degrees, 11 knots. Clear to land, runway 05, golf, November Yankee. So we're coming back on the glide path, Wheeler, and coming on the localizer, and that heading 
should stick because we just got blown, didn't we? Yeah, it wasn't oh. sticking to hit him. Oh, some energy fuel. But that uh, thing's to put a uh, sub just to part of me. So, 500 foot per minute should be the glide path. So, call it 15% power. And we're in the white arc for four flaps. So, I'm going to put four flaps down uh, at 300 feet and then pull the power out so we get to 65 knots approach speed, okay? Oh! Nicely stable. 1000. Slightly above the uh, glide path. Inside the white arc. 900 foot. Slightly to the left. <laughs> Hard work. Five zero five two. So realistically, this is where you'd normally pop out for most flights that you'd do those like, around here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Right, let's try and stick with this. <laughs> it's all over the place. Okay. Bear in mind I've not done a line of in two months. Keep those eyes down. Yep, don't worry, 255, so when it gets to there. I'm going to put the four flaps in about 350. Air speed's good. Four hundred. Approaching minima. I put the four flaps in. Well below glide path, I just remember. Okay, that's the side. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Yes. Right, it's needed. Yep. Minibus one, hold position, top shot one. Minibus one. Oh. Let me check. One, two, zero degrees, one, zero knots. And uh, Yankee, continue along the runway, hold position midpoint. There'll be a vehicle to cross the runway ahead of you, left to right. Okay, hold midpoint, runway 05. Oh, All yeah. copies off of the Yankee. Mean about one via Fox Truck, cross the runway. What's that doing here? <laughs> that an Airbus? Yeah. Uh, are they doing like the face check? Um, Can you just get the taxi chart? Yeah, I'll zoom in. Yeah. So, yeah. Lima, line up on weight, runway 05. Where do you want to use to fake eight through? Line up on weight, got the field. Copy. Where do you want you to vacate? I uh, don't know yet. Number Yankee, vacate via Bravo. Vacate via Bravo, go for number Yankee. That's weird, I've never known them to do that. But cross someone while someone's landed. But there's the other. Go for the one Yankee, taxi North Apron via Bravo and Charlie parking with the marshaller. Okay, by Bravo, Charlie and with the marshaller. North Apron, go for number Yankee. Feel up, where's Bravo? Here you go. Roger. Halfway. The old runway. That was good, but not as good as I hoped. That's fine. It's just that, like, the only thing that I'd comment on is just when you drop well below the glide path, like... Yeah, you, we should have gone around them. <laughs> but for VMC conditions... Yeah, it's fine, but just... For it, IMC it, conditions, yeah, you're right, you are right. That's IMC, but you you have to keep an eye on it, which, yeah. you know... It's, it's, you re you realise, though, how, like, sensitive that does become at the last, like, half mile. Yeah, this is Bravo, isn't it? Yeah. So vacate here. Flaps can come up. That is the train. Bravo, and then the first, and then it'll be the uh, first right, Charlie. Uh, yeah. We are now actually going into the sensitive area. <laughs> City fly must have diverted here this morning because of the wind, maybe. No, Charlie's the. Uh, right yeah. Up so the you're going to go through Bravo two now, then Bravo three, and then right joins on to Charlie. That was oh, a good flight, Wheeler. Flight. What's the landing time? 12 <laughs> engines. And... It makes it so much more real, doesn't it, when you fly like it's kind of like, oh, that way, a long time. <laughs> That's quite true, yeah. Like, it's more of like, oh. I quite like, how much is it to land here? 30. With uh, the approach. With the approach. Yeah, which is not bad. There's well, my well, marshaller, the that, orange. Well, big in the side. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London Southend International Airport. Thank you very much for subscribers. All the comments and all the feedback, as you can probably tell from the video, wasn't as good as I hoped. 
Um, but obviously room for improvement, which is always, always positive. And uh, keep up the good work. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell button if you want instantaneous videos. And uh, thank you very much for Tom coming along with me today. Parking brake is on. If I can have the checklist, please. Uh, so we got to wait two minutes for the turbo to cool down. Yeah. I was told by my first instructor on achieving my private pilot's license that it is a license to learn. Now this confused my mother because she thought I had a license. The amazing thing about these videos is you can self debrief and share with the aviation community what you learned, how you learn from any mistakes and how you can make your flying even better. For me being proficient pilot is making the good points better and learning from the bad points to improve so that through experience my flying is top notch. This means through my videos my learning curves are much more effective. I'm not an instructor so as always seek advice from the relevant person. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-flight videos and so you can follow my progress towards the instrument rating. In the video you watch me fly into Southend with a safety pilot on board. Southend is extremely convenient because of its close proximity and low cost for IFR flying and training. Now using the instrument rating restricted to fly across the UK FI is highly rewarding as it keeps my flying sharp, prepares me for the ATO training when I commence the CBIR course. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the bell button for instant updates. So some notes to take from this flight that I should have used my trusted plug. It's had some good use and it's well adapted for any flight, especially IFR. It's much better than the use of a bit of A4 paper. Whilst this flight was undertaking visual meteorological conditions, VMC, my altitude keeping was a margin better than previous IFLY flights. It's still a work in progress. My heading should be followed more religiously. This probably goes back to the point that I shouldn't fixate on one task and continue to aviate, which is the main priority. I usually talk to myself about what I'm doing as I do it because then this means I'm using much more brain capacity and can follow more closely any parts of the flight. The tolerances are plus or minus 100 foot, but I should be aiming for zero and I should treat all headings as if I was flying a precision approach. Dropping below the glide path due to turbulence and not correcting should have meant that on the notification from the safety pilot that I was well below the glide, I should have immediately commenced a missed approach. In standards document 01A, it does give you quite a wide range of information. One of the requirements that I didn't complete in this flight was an in-air approach briefing, which could have meant that if I was below the glide path, a go-around would be the correct course of action. The flying standards for the IR are one of a commercial standard, so it's about time I raise the bar and raise the level of my flying, step by step. This video is not instructional, but more so for me to debrief and share my experiences and share progress of becoming a far better pilot. If you haven't already checked it out, at the bottom of your screen is www.theflyingvlog.uk. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and as always, fly safely.